Are there just people in this world like that that are just going around recording everything? Hey guys, it's Friday. It's Friday evening. It's also Valentine's, so happy Valentine's or belated Valentine's. Can can you do Valentine's like that or is it just birthdays? Anyway, we're actually in kind of a hurry. I'm all decked out in my Valentine's dress that is completely inappropriate for this weather, so I'm going to put on a sweater over it, but I just had to wear it. It's like just a really pretty springtime dress that I could not resist because honestly, I hate winter clothes and I'm so ready for spring clothes. Spring, summer, that is when I thrive. We're just about to have our little Valentine's date, but Grant brought me home a couple of gifts and I have to show you them. It's, it's important. We're in a hurry, but this is important. Okay, so number one, this is the card and it is the cutest thing ever. It's like a little pop-up card and it worked really well for me when I had two hands. Okay, this is what it looks like popped up. It's just Mickey and Minnie having a picnic. And then there's a tiny little card right here that he wrote in. This is not the cutest thing. Okay, and somebody's been watching the vlogs <laughs> or living the vlogs. <laughs> he got me a new plant and obviously this one has flowers and I don't have any house plants that have flowers except for my new bromeliad. I had to learn that name after the last vlog. And they're a completely different flower compared to these. I am so excited for these to open. I don't have anything like this and they're really really pretty now for the finale oh my gosh how did he find socks that literally have luna's face on them i mean all it's missing is the little dot on her forehead but is this not luna i thought i had her face copyrighted but apparently not apparently they are using her face for these socks <laughs> he said he was just looking around the card shop and happened to run into these luna come here for reference Come show your little face. Come here. Ha, oh, Lonnie. come, come here, Looney. There's my girl. Okay, well, <laughs> this is not the best way to see her face. <laughs> Can you show your cute face? Let me see it. Okay, I just realized the other thing they missed, the snaggle tooth. Miss Snaggle Queen is nothing without her tooth right here she has like a little bit of an underbite but you can't really see it unless you open her mouth which she's not gonna let me do <laughs> okay she's really sick of the camera we've got to go grant's standing here is it time to go valentine to go, <laughs> okay all right let's go luna beans okay i've got my sweater on i'm nice and cozy it's it's really only like 55 so i'll be totally fine we're on the way to our valentine's date and we're actually going to the movies so it's not like i'm going to be outside anyway we're going to alamo draft house and we're going to see true romance if you've been watching the vlogs a while you might know we've already seen true romance like honestly not that long ago probably within the last year yeah. and i like a lot of movies but this is one that I've seen a billion times and I will never stop wanting to watch. Maybe if I could have walked down the aisle to that like intro marimba music, like the theme, I might have done that. What is it called? Why can I not remember? The Hans Zimmer. Mm -hmm. I think you can look it up on YouTube as just like, you're so cool. So obviously this was my idea. I'm very happy that this is what we're doing. So it's dinner and a movie very chill very relaxed it's only like 6 30 right now so it's not even gonna be a late night i'm like so out of breath because i'm trying to talk so fast before we get on the freeway anyway are you having a good valentine's day yeah i was supposed to i was, thought i was gonna get off work earlier though i'm sad i didn't get to come home earlier but you were working so i didn't really i was working it i was putting up a igtv video about the red velvet cookie cake cookies that I made. I just made them last night. I told you guys about it in the last vlog. I intended to make them earlier, but I just made them last night. And so he took almost all of them to work. They had M&Ms in them. Were you one over to the red velvet side of life or it's still, was it, or still as you put it last week? Yeah, they're not. Was it berry? Was it berry? It was very berry. Like blue raz. <laughs> He said red velvet was berry flavored. So. I guess I was thinking black forest is like cherry. Oh, okay, but, I see your uh, point. Ultimately, I will say the magic cookie bars, the Valentine's magic cookie bars were way better. So, yeah. if for some reason you're trying to make a Valentine's recipe at this point, you probably aren't, do the magic cookie bars, 110%. Myself to be 
really great thing about coming to this theater, even though it's really far away, is it's right by a really big half price place. So that's what we're doing. almost at shop vintage dallas i've been there in vlogs before and i think i posted an instagram when i was there before because i found a couch that i really 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 loved it's a vintage seller here in dallas i think we bought a full-size mirror and then also oh the bar cart that i have in my makeup room i just uploaded my makeup room transformation actually i think i called it a makeover i unpacked everything in the makeup room Put up decor set up my office i did all of that just in case you missed that video i'll link it down below or like in the card or something i never know which side they are so that bar cart and then what else came from there the teak console table the place we came last time and there was like that huge green crazy couch we wanted we came in and we were like we had to like escort ourselves out because <laughs> their credit card was like shut off like, no it uh, was like not <laughs> it was not but we're it's just now. we it just things get dangerous when we come into a situation like this because oh, yeah. we fall in love with everything. everything and I follow them on Instagram I'm always watching their story like they just always have so much good stuff there's a table she just posted did you see that no literally like when we were walking out the door oh that no, we're, I you're, seen it. we're gonna be I'm gonna have to like arm bar you to get you out of there to, to prevent you from buying this. Luckily, I think she's almost about to close for the day, so we won't have too much time to look around, but she posts everything on Instagram if you wanna follow her on Instagram. I'm like so hesitant to talk about these people on my channels because it's just more competition to get this stuff because everything they find obviously is like one of a kind. It's like a treasure that they found at like an estate sale or something. But at the same time, obviously, gotta support the small business and they have just some amazing stuff. So this is one of my favorites. Let's go see if we can find something we love. Yeah, we leave the money in the car. <laughs> no, that no. isn't. No. You, you act like you don't want to shop. Come on, Grant. <laughs> Okay, this is the table Grant was talking about and he's a thousand percent right. I'm obsessed. Really anything with smoked glass, like come on, I need it. <laughs> and these chairs, I love the color of the chairs. And look at the puppy. Oh. definitely opportunities for spending but I only got a couple of little things I'll show you when we get home because right now we're about to go to the mall Grant has an appointment to take his computer in to get looked at because the screen has been messed up forever and he's finally trying to get that fixed we're going to the Apple store and then we're going to the mall because Grant has some jeans he wants to return I don't know I'm kind of thinking I want to look at the phones I mean not like I don't know what the phone options are at the Apple store but my phone, I, I don't know what's wrong with it. I've read something online that says that whenever your camera just seems like it's really, really decreasing in quality, it's because you've dropped it too many times or it's you dropped it the wrong way and something got messed up. I feel like the photo quality is still pretty much okay. I think it could be better. I think it used to be better and I just don't remember how it used to be better. But the video quality has really, really suffered and I rely on my phone a lot of times to vlog when I'm out and about because it's not always accessible to grab my camera and my phone is already in my hand so I can just grab a quick clip and it's not like I'm talking to the camera for long periods whenever I'm out like at a store or like at dinner or something like that so I don't feel like there's a big problem with me using my phone even if the quality isn't as good as my vlog camera but now since the quality has gone down on my phone I feel like it is a problem and I know you guys don't care ultimately but I notice it when I'm editing and when I'm watching back so I don't know 
I hate getting new phones. It's like the worst chore for me. It's so backwards because you should be so happy to get a new phone, but it's so expensive and it's so much work and you have to get used to so many things. And I always have so much stuff on my phone. So I think I'm kind of talking myself out of it. How cute are these? I actually already have one of these sets that I got when I was Christmas shopping and now seeing all together, they are so, so, so cute. I think I want this one. It's actually an oil diffuser. Yeah. There is some kind of connection between when I hit record and when Luna gets thirsty or hungry because every time I hit record, she's like, it's time to feast. Anyway, guess what? I was forced to get a new phone. You get it. I pulled the trig. <laughs> I was very back and forth about it. I just hate to spend the money even though I know that the camera's gonna be so much better. And really there've been a few things that have been like laggy and weird on my phone when Grant's not having any problems with his phone. I always try to blame the Wi-Fi, and then he blames my phone. Now we're gonna see what's really happening. It probably is my phone. The truth will come out. Yes, the truth will set you free, Grant. Yeah. But really what sealed the deal for me was Grant remembered miraculously that he gets a discount from his company. So I was like, fine, okay, let's do it. There's a discount. Like, I don't know, for some reason mentally that just unlocked the situation. And then we went through the whole process to get the discount and everything. And it was like $30. <laughs> So it was basically no discount at all, but I had already mentally flipped the switch and I was getting a new phone, so I have it. Yay. Okay, Luna needs to go outside. The second she stops eating, she's like, I gotta go outside right now. It's an emergency. And I was talking to Grant about it the other night. I was like, what if people were like that? Like you were on your first date with someone and you go out to a restaurant and then the second you put your fork down, you're like, I gotta go to the bathroom. <laughs> That'd be really romantic, wouldn't it, Grant? I mean, at least he knows what's happening all the time. Yeah, if everybody is like that, then. But what if just you were like that? Oh, yeah. I have the digestive system of a dog. Anyway, that's just a glimpse into my brain. <laughs> now we're gonna set up the phone, which I think is gonna take a long time. And we're gonna watch a movie, a movie that I've wanted to watch for so long. And I think that we've even like said in another vlog semi-recently, like after we watched Uncut Gems, I was like, finally, we're gonna watch this movie I wanted to watch for so long. It's called Good Time. And then we didn't watch it. Still haven't watched it. So I think we're finally gonna watch it. Finally. It's only like eight o'clock and I'm just done. Like, sorry. Gotta go, bye. Not to you, but to life, basically, all of life. I didn't show you guys the records that I got last night from Half Price Books. I've been on a quest for quite a while now to find the Hello Dolly soundtrack, the one, the Barbara Streisand soundtrack, not like the actual like Broadway, whatever, whatever. I want the Barbara Streisand version because on Spotify, the whole soundtrack is there except for Put On Your Sunday Clothes, which is my favorite song. It's the song that makes the whole thing worth it. I love that song so much. I can't even explain the feelings it makes me feel. I just love it. It makes me so, so, so happy. Really, that whole movie makes me really happy. <laughs> I don't know what it, like this is gonna sound maybe kind of crazy. It might've been like third or fourth grade. I can't remember exactly, but I saw that movie for the first time and it just, made my life it's unexplainable it just has this like amazing pure happiness to it and i love the songs and put on your sunday clothes it's just everything to me and for whatever reason it's just grayed out on spotify and i think i've checked it on maybe like amazon music 
maybe Apple Music, I don't know. I've checked a couple other streaming services and for whatever reason, it's just not there. So when I wanna listen to it, I look it up on YouTube. <laughs> And that's kind of annoying. And I just thought it would be really cool to have the actual record. Unfortunately, I did not have any luck and they didn't have it. I could probably find it on Amazon. I don't know why I have not looked there, but I mean like the record on Amazon. So here's what I did get. But just because I didn't find that, obviously does not mean that I did not get anything. Obviously I was in the soundtrack section when I was shopping and then tears for fears. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's my that's my cover. <laughs> they have uh, Sunday clothes on Google Play music. <gasps> they have it on Google Play music? Who listens to that, Grant? <laughs> Grant is a Google Play. Oh no, they don't have it. It's a specific version with specific singers. Which one do you want? The Barbara Streisand version. I can show you the cover. Yeah, you don't want the Broadway? No. That's what I just said. That's the cover we're looking for. So this is the one we need. We need it. We need it. Come on, team. Oh, no. There's an attack underway. An attack. Kiss attack. Kiss attack. Oh, what a sweetie girl. I need kisses. <laughs> really more than anything i'm just wondering like why is it not available why is it just grayed out why just that one song who sings it it's a bunch of people uh oh i've even googled it <laughs> but but it seems like nobody else has wondered this or just my my question is still unanswered and it's something i've been wondering about for quite some time now so the quest continues i've not found the record but it's gonna happen i am determined hey girlfriend oh you know excuse me just, just for one moment oh no she took that pretty hard i did not show you guys the stuff that we got at shop vintage dallas and it's really only a couple of things actually i might as well show you all of this stuff it's really not that much stuff so i wanted to go to anthropology while we we're at the mall while grant was like returning his stuff and everything and i saw that they had bouquets of dried flowers and leaves mm, this does smell pretty good actually it kind of smells like garden ridge remember garden ridge it does Mm. But I just think this is really pretty and I think this would be nice downstairs. But the other stuff that I was mainly looking for, so first I found this all white dried bouquet and I was like, yes, perfect, sign me up. And I was just gonna get one because this one was marked at $38, really ridiculous. Did not make me happy, but I feel like this would work perfectly for the makeup room. If you watch that makeup room transformation video, you know exactly what I'm talking about with those faces. This would be great to add to that. It is absolute highway robbery, but it's just perfect. I could not deny it. So I took it to the register and they rang me up and it was only $13. So obviously I was super happy and obviously I went back for more <laughs> because I was like, well, if they're like 75% off, I don't did not do the math here, but a significant sale, basically, I'm definitely gonna check out the other options because they had a bunch of really cute options. And so I picked out these two, went back through the line, and they were both full price. It was so weird. There wasn't any sign on the section that said they were on sale and that's why I just went for one at the beginning. But then these were full price and I'd already gone through the line so I felt like I had to get them. But they're both really, really, really pretty. So I don't regret it, but I do kind of feel bamboozled by the whole thing. Anyway, next from Shop Vintage Dallas, I got a few little brass figures. Two cats and one mouse. I feel like I've seen cats like this before and birds like this. And we even have two bookends that are like brass duck heads. And I got those from my mom. And I just always remember my mom having those brass duck heads and she gave them to me and I love them. Could not resist these little cats. One has eyelashes that go down and one has eyelashes that go up. And then she also had two little mice and only got one. And I've never seen a mouse brass figure. How cute is this? Is it just me? You better not say it's just me. It's Sunday afternoon. It's like 
three o'clock already and there's something very important that I need to show you guys. I've been kind of like prepping you for it because I've been so excited for it and waiting for it for so, so, so long, but I need to show you before any of the light that we have today goes away. We got new furniture. Specifically, we got a new bed slash we got a bed. We didn't have a bed for the longest time, actually like the entire time we've lived here. So having a bed has been a big game changer in our lives in the last week. And I wanna show you, cause I'm in love with this bed. It is so good. And I was so worried that I wasn't gonna like it. I knew Grant would literally snap if I did not like it. Like he was already on the edge of snapping when I decided I wanted to send back the couch and the first bed we got. And when I kind of mentioned not really loving the washer and dryer that we got, <laughs> snapping was on the menu at that time already, but I was nervous. I was like, what if this bed comes and I don't love it? What are we gonna do? Am I just gonna have to like deal with it? I don't wanna just deal with a bed, you know? You really wanna like your bed and good news, I really, really, really love it. And I think Grant loves it too. Do you love it? I love it. He loves it. He's been studying for most of today and I've just been falling down a black hole basically. I've been just doing little things all around, like definitely not vlog worthy things. And I've also been watching this show, but I'm getting off topic. I need to show you the bed. I'll tell you about the show in just a second because that is important. Okay, here it is. Behold the glory. We actually have a place to sleep. I tried to make it up all nice to show you guys I definitely need to work on my technique, but I feel like that's what you're supposed to do with a bed like this The headboard is so amazing. It's rattan with this like really shiny black I wouldn't really say it's lacquered. Oh, it's already dusty somehow But it's a shiny finish and this combined with this is just such a beautiful combination to me We definitely need to work on our pillow situation in a big way we need to add like a blanket we're kind of just trying to figure it out as we go with like an extra color we want to add in because we really like the black and white as the main base but we're thinking we want to either add in like a orangey brown or maybe like emerald green or maybe like a golden yellow so all of that is up in the air this is not its final form but i'm absolutely in love with this bed and the second new thing that we got delivered this week is this bench obviously it goes perfectly. It has a little brass piece up here and it's honestly a little bit hard to open, but you have a ton of storage inside. Dun -dun -dun. And then it has this kind of soft cushion up here. I'm just so obsessed with the shape, with the slats, the texture on the front, the brass, the leather everything about it and everything about this combination. There is still so much to do in this room, like rug, curtains, dresser. We also want to either get a big piece of art here or we wanna paint something on the wall. That's still undecided, we'll see what happens there, but at least we have a bed. I'm very happy about this. Okay, one more thing to show you. I showed you guys last weekend that we had to take back a runner rug that we ordered that was way too long, and this is the one that we ordered to replace it and it is so perfect. I love this rug so much. It's kind of like 80s Southwestern modern. If that combination ever existed, I feel like this is it. Like especially with this blue and pink on the end here. I don't even remember seeing that whenever we ordered it, but I'm so happy it's there. It's so pretty and it definitely has like more of a rustic look, but I think that goes well with this rug in this room. This room is a mess right now. I still have so many boxes to deal with. I can finally say we righted some of the wrongs, some of the mistakes that we made on Black Friday, the day of many, many mistakes. We have a bed, we have the bench, we have a runner, we just need a couch. We just need a lot of things, honestly. But now that we have a bed, it's kind of not a stopping place, but it's not like there's anything like we urgently need, you know what I mean? Like we can kind of take it slow. <laughs> I feel out of breath right now. And I feel like it's just because I haven't been talking a lot today. Grant's been busy studying and I've just been busy watching my show, like I said, and working on other stuff. Like I just posted it on Instagram and made some orders and did like Walmart order again. <laughs> Am I just not breathing correctly while I'm talking? I don't know. I feel like <laughs> it's a problem. Anyway, so the show that I've been watching, I don't know if everybody has already watched it and I'm just now seeing it, but it's called The Pharmacist, and I think it's like a limited documentary series. I think it's only four parts. I was telling Grant about it at lunch, and just part one is like a whole movie. 
It is so interesting. It's a crime documentary, but it's like multiple stories. It's so interesting. It's about this one family, mainly this one guy. I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything, but if you just watch the trailer and you just think it's about one thing and you just think it's about like the opioid crisis and everything, and that is interesting to me. And I watched it based on the trailer. I was like, yes, I'd like to learn about this, but is about so much more than that and this guy at the center of the story is so interesting and so strange and he records everything and at first i was just kind of like taking that like oh okay that's just part of the story he has these phone calls recorded but then you start to realize he has everything recorded like <laughs> everything at work he is a pharmacist and he has all of these interactions with the public recorded like is that even legal i think he was on the phone with like the fbi or the dea or something and they're like oh uh i'm not getting my call recorded right now am i and he's like oh no 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 <laughs> meanwhile it's being recorded and it's on the documentary of course it makes the whole series so much more interesting because it's not just you know people telling you in present day what was going on. He has so much to share when it comes to these recordings. But more and more, you just start to realize like, hey, this is crazy. And it's so weird. What was the other? There was another podcast that I listened to and oh, I can't remember. Can't remember the name of it. I will put it on the screen because I will make myself remember. But it was another guy who was not a good guy this guy the pharmacist he's a good guy but this guy in the story was very much a bad guy but he was into like recording everything and like super surveillance around his house and stuff like that are there just people in this world like that that are just going around recording everything like i've always thought like even since i was a little kid like it would be so cool to like record my life with my eyes <laughs> That sounds crazy, but I also feel like as we move further and further into the future, it's not as crazy, and maybe I was just a visionary. There's a, <laughs> and there's a Black Mirror episode of that. Oh. In the future, that everybody has implants that record everything you see. Oh, I yeah. think that I've seen that. Yeah. But it, I just, I wasn't thinking of it in a Black Mirror kind of way. I understand how it could go Black Mirror really, really quick, but I've just always been so into the idea of remembering everything. And as you guys have probably gathered so far, I like to keep everything. I'm just, I just love everything a little bit too much. And I want to like record everything my eyes can see. So like all my peripheral vision, like ultra wide angle, you know, but all from my perspective. I don't know why I thought about that as a child, but it was something that I thought about frequently. I don't know how I got on this topic, but maybe I am destined to become one of those guys that records everything. I think maybe this is how those guys start. I wouldn't be a bad guy though. I would use it for good, not for evil. <sighs> I also wanna say while I'm just sitting here rambling, Thank you guys so much for all the positive comments and supportive comments and everyone sharing their story with me. And last weekend's vlog, when I talked about my IUI experience, like that just means so much to me. And at a certain point, to be honest, like I do kind of like get overwhelmed by it. It's the most positive way to be overwhelmed, if that makes sense. It's just so nice to hear so many success stories and so many people that understand exactly what I'm going through. People that are literally going through the exact same thing. I've had, I think like three different people very recently telling me that we're living parallel lives. Like got married at the same time, moved at the same time, decided to try to have a baby at the same time. Like it's crazy, but it's so wonderful and it's so encouraging and it's, it's just wonderful to feel like you're not alone. And I'm really happy to be that person for you guys if I can be. And you guys are that for me. And I'm really, really, really grateful for that. <laughs> and I'm out of breath again. <laughs> so are you still studying or are you eating? I'm studying. I definitely have a lot of work to do and I need to get started. Okay, so the current project I really need to tackle is all of this stuff. Remember last weekend's vlog where I attacked this very section of the kitchen and it was so cluttered with vases and planters and stuff like that. And I got it almost all the way cleared off. Well, <laughs> 
that didn't last very long. All of this stuff is what I call like utility stuff. So it's like tools, light bulbs, extension cords, random tools, instructions for stuff, hanging materials, more instructions, you know, that kind of stuff. Even wallflowers. Really a lot of stuff fits into that category for me. And my dream is to have all of this stuff, including some of the stuff that isn't garbage, some of this stuff that isn't donation stuff, all should hopefully fit in this closet right here, definitely not being utilized well at the moment. And these drawers, I see we already have some batteries and some light bulbs organized and also these cabinets. I don't know what happened here, but they got really, really dusty. So I think Grant has already started placing some stuff in here. Um, and I like what I'm seeing definitely, but we need to finish it out and get everything in its little home. Oh, okay, I didn't even notice. Also here in the background, my vision board for 2019. <laughs> I kind of feel guilty throwing this away. And I never did the video where I was like following up all of my goals for 2019. And I kind of feel like that ship has sailed at this point. I can't really talk about 2019 goals anymore, but I do feel like I did a really good job with my goals, at least the ones that were in my control, unlike things like this, the bullet train. The thing I wanted so, so bad to come true. Yeah, hasn't come true yet, not even close. But I think we've made progress. I feel like I should throw this away, but I feel weird about it. I don't know, we'll deal with it in a minute. Okay, it might not seem. <laughs> Grant. <laughs> done it before and after this thing. That's true. Grant is a hard working dude today. This pan has come a long way. Yeah, this is a brand new, all clad, stainless steel pan that I completely destroyed. It was black. The whole thing was just it was. straight black. Uh, and that was what, two days ago? Two days ago. <laughs> I've been scrubbing this for probably about a total of. I don't know. Probably an hour. An hour? Probably yeah. an hour total because we've tried a lot of different things and we didn't have the right cleaner. So it's not like we just let it sit for that long. We just didn't have the right thing. Yeah. And finally, we got a little barkeeper's friend. Which and that stuff I don't like. If you're you going like to get it, it, just get the powder. This is just diluted powder. Just yeah. powder with water in it. I've only seen the powder before. I didn't know yeah, it came as a liquid. Just get the powder. This it's, it's so stupid. Okay. So Grant has been working diligently on this pan because it's actually brand new. This is part of our Christmas gift, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is one of our amazing new pans and Grant actually cooked, I think on Thursday and we learned something new about our cooktop. We learned something not to do and he's trying to revive our poor, poor pitiful pan. But you're doing a really good job. And then over here, it might not look like it, but I do have a lot of this stuff in piles and categories and We've just got a lot of junk and I got way too into emptying out my tool bag I've had this tool bag for years and years and years like when I first moved out I bought this from Walmart. It was so cheap, but it's come in handy so many times So this is semi ready to be organized we also have some little piles here and our organizers that we got from the container store. I'm gonna use these. I emptied that box and then now we need to approach this section. And then I'm not sure what's in these bags, but I think whatever's in these bags needs to go in. Oh, there's the little hammer. Are you ready for dinner? 
So we're taking a little break and we're having steak and cauliflower mash with, I think, bacon. I think that's the flavor. And I'm so hungry right now. This looks really unappetizing, but I promise it's good. <laughs> This guy just got out of the shower and I'm gonna Who's give <laughs> It's your house. Whose house is this? I'm gonna give him the tour and I'm gonna give you the tour. It's gonna be very exciting. <laughs> Not really, but it's gonna be quick. So here, easy access. We've got every kind of battery you could ever want in your life. Wonderful, so easy to access. And then over here, this is kind of a free drawer. I threw these manuals in because we're trying to organize all our manuals together. Um, and this is not where this is gonna end up, but this is a free drawer. And so we still need to decide what else we need to be super, super easy access right by the back door downstairs. And then down here in the cabinet, if you wanna get low with me, Grant. So bottom tier, easy access, we have bulbs of all kinds. You can see these organizers don't reach all the way to the back. I mean, I'm sure we will accumulate more junk in the future and I can add more to the storage or edit it along the way. But here we have a little container, not so little container actually, of wallflowers. We haven't plugged any of these in in the new house so far just because so far it still just smells like a new house and I don't want to ruin that because I love it. Here we have gloves. Here's your drill with your drill bits and then extra screws and nails. I know this is not your ideal place, but this is where I put it for now. Here we have every kind of command strip, hook, or these little slider deals you could ever, ever, ever want. Somehow I've ended up with like five packs of these and I hardly ever use them, but they are useful when you need them. And so I have them more towards the back because you really need them. And then also in the back, I have those little furniture sliders. Again, not an everyday kind of thing. So it can be in the back. Here we have all kinds of hanging stuff for like mirrors, wall art, all that kind of stuff. Here's painting stuff. Here we have an insane amount of zip ties. This could probably go outside, but for now it's here. Here is all like home preservation, patching holes, covering up scratches in wood. I don't know, this category made sense to me yeah, somehow. <laughs> and then over here we have my little Christmas basket. It's all a leather cleaner and a car repair kind of thing. Super exciting, like I said. <laughs> and then over here in the closet, I really didn't do too much. I was surprised by how much I easily fit in there. Just up here on the top shelf, we have two dust busters. Do we need two? Probably not, but we have to. Here is the newly organized pink tool bag. Hopefully it will stay that way. It's very unlikely, but maybe, hopefully. And then over here we have a bunch of different spray paint, WD-40, tool belt, and then all of this garbage just stayed the same way. Got it? Memorized? Memorized. <laughs> Memorized forever? Forever. Uh, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. I am really actively trying to not make my vlogs super, super crazy long because last week was just like an all time high of the long vlog and editing that much vlog in that amount of time is just really, really hard. <laughs> and it's definitely rewarding because I love watching vlogs back and I love saving the memories and everything. But of course I wanna make it worth it. Like a trip, it just makes sense. Disneyland made sense. And last weekend, I had a lot to talk to you guys about, and I feel like I still had a lot to talk. This one might end up being long, and I don't even know. I really never know what to expect until I import the footage and actually start like plugging away at it. But I tried to like pull it back a little bit because really we didn't do as much this weekend. And I don't know, it's just been a weird weekend overall for a lot of different reasons. I know I said I was gonna end the vlog, so I'm gonna end the vlog. Uh, please continue to pray for us 
eat some cookies for us. Think positive, send us some happy thoughts. I don't remember the whole thing that I said last weekend, but just continue that because obviously we're still waiting to see what happens. I don't really have any news to report, so I don't even really wanna talk about it because I've just been so back and forth in my own head and I don't wanna like rope you guys into that. Obviously we're just waiting and seeing still. And again, I appreciate you guys supporting us so much. It's really, it's really, really, really encouraging. Um, you know, all you have to do is wait. It's just, it's just really, really encouraging. And I appreciate that. Anyway, I said I wasn't going to talk about it. Right now, we're about to watch the new episode of The Outsiders. Thank you guys so much for watching. It definitely, I feel like I have stuff in my teeth. If I've had something in my teeth this whole time, just delete my channel. If you want to keep up with all the new vlogs, definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I don't usually say all this in vlogs. <laughs> anyway, thanks. I love you. Bye.